What's up, guys? So I know the name of this series is West vs. Backlog, but what does it mean when you get to play a game that's not out yet? Can't technically be on the backlog because it's not out yet. But hey, Diablo 4 Early Access is happening right now, and I was able to play about an hour and a half of it. I actually played it before I'm recording this part, but I just wanted to show off some, some goodies. You know, my old school original launch day Brady games um, deal right here. You know, a little Book of Cain action for Diablo 3, and then, you know, the, the absolute beaut, the art of Diablo right there. Beautiful. Uh, I have my um, camera set up in a weird way, so it won't autofocus. Anyway, huge fan of Diablo. Um, whenever you got like people like Igor Sid and, and Braum, freaking Braum, working on your artwork, you're going to have a good looking game. And yeah, the game looks phenomenal. And enough of me yapping about it. Let's go actually watch me play it, have some fun, and talk about my history with Diablo. So let's go take a look at the early access of Diablo 4 right now. All right, guys. So we are here. Um, <laughs> Diablo 4 open beta right now. And what's crazy about this is... Make sure everything's working okay. So I got kicked out quite a few times. There's still server stuff going on. Uh, but we're actually going to come in from scratch, make ourselves a barbarian, and see what this thing is all about. Though this game will not be out until June of 2023, but they are doing a quick kind of early access uh, beta. So let's dig in. Um, too good to be true type of thing. The timing really worked out. So let's just go ahead make one that looks kind of like me I don't have glorious uh, red hair I probably should but I do not oh my gosh you can even see like the sweat look at that Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay. Um, facial hair. I mean, that's probably the closest, but really, I mean, I gotta rock out. Uh, here we go. That. Into. I know it looks like Kratos, I know, but even at my old job, some of my coworkers said I looked like Kratos whenever I was presenting. So we're just gonna uh, presenting like professional development stuff. So we are going to just uh, dig in and <laughs> look like this, I guess. But yeah, I played Barbarian in Diablo 2, Whirlwind Barbarian mainly for like, it's my favorite character archetype, but also it's uh, one I played so much that I remember it was in August of whatever year the ladder hit for the Battle.net ladder that, like, I only got, like, two hours of sleep a day for, like, a month or something. <laughs> I was just obsessed with Diablo 2. It was ridiculous. Um... All right, that's pretty dope. We'll we'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. Cool. So next hardcore no. So we got to just do this as an old time. That was the name of my very first Diablo character. So start game. Um. Let's do this. I've played my fair share of. Diablo. So I'm hoping we actually get in. Alright, a... Okay. Uh, yes, yes, okay. ...for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. In 
instead. It became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And centuries ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall. It's so surreal to see a created character in a in-game cutscene of a Blizzard game. It just doesn't usually... Blizzard's not one of those. I mean, World of Warcraft, of course, uh, does that. But, like, in a Diablo game, it's so weird. It's cool, though. Like, God, look how pretty it looks. fast oh man oh sorry bud Wow, that's cool. So that reminds me of whenever, uh, like in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, whenever it would go from those cutscenes and it was like a really smooth transition into gameplay. That is cool. Okay, so we're going... So what do we got? We got our life. Fury. Okay. So evade is spacebar. Q is healing potions. Okay, here's our skill slots right here. Upgradable at level 10. Okay. So, yeah, so Diablo 2, um, I'm not even counting Diablo 1. It's a great game, and I love Diablo 1 and the Hellfire expansion, but it plays so differently um, than like Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. But what I was about to say is Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 play really differently. They're just different type of games. And this seems to be more of the return to Diablo 2. But I've actually come to love both games very much. Um, for different reasons. So don't mind all the uh, click click you're probably going to hear. <laughs> that's, what, that's what these games are. <laughs> it's just a bunch of clicking.
There we go. Sorry about that. I think the CPU fans are kicking on, so I had to change the the sound output a little bit. Do some real live mixing. Like I said, we've been trying to get on this all day, but it's a Blizzard game, so servers are always going to be queued up and stuff like that. And So I apologize if this one isn't <laughs> the most sophisticated episode. But hey man, we're we're getting to getting to play some of this for uh before launch. Which is awesome. This and Final Fantasy 16 are my most anticipated games of the year. If the System Shock remake hits this year. That's up there as well. I just don't know. I haven't heard really anything about that one yet. Or like any updates, I should say. Oh, so no... Automatic, uh... Recharge of life. Okay. Tab. Okay, so tab. Tab journal. Okay. Collections. Social. Game. Okay. Yep. Alright. So I know there's some unlockable stuff. Like if you get to level 20 before the end of the beta time. I'm actually going out of town tomorrow, which is why I said earlier that this is kind of a perfect timing thing. I can play this for about an hour, get the episode up, <laughs> and then be be gone for the next few days. Um, but, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get those unlockables. I wish I could, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> And plus, Lord knows I'm gonna be playing a ton of this when it comes out anyway. Hmm. Another abandoned town. Demons Bats. everywhere. Okay. Fangs in the dark. Gah! He bit me. Careful. He's a wild one. Oh. Oh. What's it to you? Oswen, hush. I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? Come. I'll explain. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. Truly? Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Level two. Cool. Okay. Part one seven. Okay. What's that? Y you say something? Healer. If Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. Fire's looking good. But I should watch it a little longer. To make sure it doesn't go out. Armor vendor. Okay, I have 115. Plus five. Yeah, might as well. So the thing with the early access which is what this is, and then I, I was mistaken earlier when I said open beta. Open beta is going to be later, I think in about a month or so. Um, the characters are going to be wiped. I think the character will transfer from 
early access that we're playing right now into the open beta, but after that, everything gets wiped before the game launches. From my understanding, they may change that. I don't think they will, but they might. Oh, cool. And new stock delivery after about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Abilities. What is going to get me Whirlwind? Frenzy. Okay. Play. Bat. Ooh, Bash is a... It's a... A classic. Combat Bash. Combat Frenzy. Battle Frenzy. <laughs> yeah, what gets me, uh... Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is, buddy. I need to unlock at least two things. Okay, and then I get the connector. Then we can start getting rolling. So let's do... Bash. Just kind of glancing over everything. Taking it all in. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, this game just looks... It's a stunner. It, okay, there's that. Whoa. Wait, I thought I had two axes. So is alt, does it still show stuff on the ground? hit the skeletons next just watch how the bones explode and like the physics are correct so depending on where the hammer hits the bones fly in the correct momentum and direction that is dope <laughs> oh my god yeah that is awesome like potion charges oh Automatically picked up when not at max capacity. So if I fill that. Oh, so that's like Diablo 3. Okay. So far, I'm getting a vibe that this is kind of the best of both worlds. Of Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. Because Diablo 3, it started off rough. It had that real money auction house. Um, it didn't have any of the cool like bounty stuff or the uh, the adventure mode type thing uh, it just had kind of the acts one through four I think one through four and then the expansion Reaper of Souls added act five I think it's been a long time. <laughs> um, but then that game turned amazing it was like a power level where it was dream game because you could just go and do bounties. That's all I ever do anymore. I do the adventure mode and bounties, and I could play that forever. In fact, I could play that forever so much that I bought it on every console it's available. For. I have it on my Xbox, I have it on the PlayStation, I have it on the Switch, I have it on the PC. Um, specifically because I know as long as they keep those servers up, the bounty you know, adventure mode is going to be around, and I'll be able to just play it in perpetuity. But this one seems to be a little bit heavier on the narrative, um, which is cool. You know, Diablo 2 had a pretty kind of balls to the wall narrative. Yeah. 
yeah, buddy. Um, let's do... Let's try flay. Now keep in mind, I have not done any... So next we're doing whirlwind, no question. Um, I haven't looked at any guides. I genuinely haven't looked at anything besides the cinematic trailers. Even gameplay reveals and like talking about modes and features, like I haven't watched any of it. So this is why I'm kind of clicking, being very particular about, oh, what's this and what's that? Because I don't know anything about what's going on. But I thought, what better time to explore it than oh, on a kind of a pre-release episode, you know? This is like a time capsule, you know? It's gonna be funny after years after this has been launched and stuff, I'll be able to look back and be like, Oh yeah, that was early access. That was the first time the world at large got to play the game. Very, very cool. And see and on I know um I'm gonna try to remember to mention it on the intro so I'm actually recording this out of order I haven't recorded the intro yet um, but my I love this look that uh, the game has because two of my favorite artists well, actually I guess three of them if Bayard Wu worked on this I know he's kind of a head artist at Blizzard so probably he did a few things but really, you got Brom, and you got Igor Sid, and those two are like on my Mount Rushmore of awesome Gothic artists. They've worked on Warhammer. They've worked on a ton of stuff. But having that dream team on this, oh, cool! Oh. So the AI actually backed up from not being the explosion. Oh, all right. Yeah, I can dig it. What happens here? Okay, I was wondering if that pillar would explode or kind of what was going to go on there. Okay. I wonder if they're going to do, like, XP shrines and stuff. Probably, right? Come over here. I don't want to, like, miss out on it. <laughs> Which is silly, because you only get through kind of Act 1, I think, in this. So his shield took a solid hit from me. Like, it didn't even budge his, uh... Didn't even budge his, uh, health bar, but it did bring him down his defense part. So he took his... Now it did. Okay. Indeed. Okay. I okay. oh. oh, so it does not auto. Um, auto-equip something if you don't have anything in the slot. I think Diablo 3 does. Um, to where, like, if you didn't have gloves at all, and you picked up some gloves, it would equip them. Okay. Oh, 
anti or the uh, auto sort button. Like, but I am also one of those. I like to play Tetris, like item Tetris. I'm one of those weird ones. Oh, cool. Okay, so quest items consumable. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Total so I'll get that next flip up. <laughs> Speak of the devil. That. Hey. Alright. What did we get? Two hands last you. Oh, when you get. You get rewards for doing these chat. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna be a big fan of this. Let me go ahead. Ooh. Are you talking about? So now we're back here. All right. This kind of did a big loot, which is fine. I'm gonna get in a big group of people. Do my whirlwind. See what that's like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty nuts. That's cool. Yeah, it's real nice. So, if it's anything like the other stuff, you need to kill the shamans first because they can actually resurrect the kind of the more impish units, the smaller ones. There it is. Oh. Good whirlwind. I, I approve. Yeah, so as of right now, and I, I'm sure late game is going to get bonkers, but right now this is very grounded compared to Diablo 3, which does remind me of Diablo 2. 
it's more gothic, it's more... Um, I guess you would say realistic, but, I mean, is that accurate, you know? I don't have enough fury. Oh, so that one did have the, the... Okay, so that's what those abilities were. It was the mortar keyword. So keywords are still here. So late game stuff, um, like torment levels and stuff in Diablo 3, you would have some enemies that would have seven or eight different keyword stacks, and they would be bears to fight. Oh, I dig it. See, and like hitting this stuff and have it ricochet against the wall. Yeah, that is uh, that is very nice. What do we got here? Yep. Yep. If I see green. I dig. I dig. It. Is there a swap between the... Hold on. Between, like, two-handed... Is it just based on your... I wonder if it's just based on your skills that you have equipped? Or is there, like, a... I'm not seeing it. Um, like a little swap loadout button. I'm probably just not seeing. I just I don't have enough fury. I don't have fury. Oh man. Yeah, this doesn't look, uh, menacing. Giant summoning circle. That it wants me to stand in the middle of. Check. Round. Hmm? Appetated free. Lovely. Dang, did I miss a treasure chest, maybe? 
Clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly. Ha! By the light, you are heaven sent. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. <laughs> oh yeah. Partying. Uh oh. So either I got poisoned or I'm super wasted. <laughs> Delicious stew. This is way more like grounded. You know, this this is very much that low fantasy um, stuff, which I actually really enjoy. More character driven stuff. Whenever you start getting into oh the 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 planets are crashing into each other and gods and demons are summoning like yeah yeah, but whenever it's like this type of stuff to where oh. You know, you, you help these people, but these people are going to be sacrificing your ass. Uh, you can't trust anybody. Like, that that type of storytelling is really... It's strong. It's good. I dig it. Ugh. Oh, wait, is this for, like... By mother's blood. By mother's body. It'd be sick if it was the butcher. So, uh, shall you witness her glory? Before you die. <laughs> Not ready yet. Oh, thanks, buddy. They're coming. The whole damned village. Get up! Get up! We have to fight our way out! There! Huh. Take them! Ah! Uh, <laughs> so this is like some Resident Evil 4 action right here. Lost souls! For all of you! Is that one poisoning me? Get out of here! That was 
That's all of them. Night wheeling. Yeah, that's cool. Madman. Those heretics drugged me after I returned. Ah. Just like you. See, so you automatically get like a really cool story beat. Oh, the crazy guy wasn't crazy. He was drugged. What manner of evil is this? Petals? Of blood? They... They must have fed them to me. A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. Shameful. Our father has granted you a path to salvation. <laughs> and yet, you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful. Shame. So Brahms' art of Lilith is one of the most iconic, like, pool. Now we know what uh what happened to the village. It's me. I brought your child into this world.
go to the dry steps and continue your preparations. So this Lilith model is so good, but it also reminds me of Kerrigan in StarCraft. You came to thank the light. You collapsed inside. I thought the darkness had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw a, a vision. A horned demon. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. Help them? She called them her children. And they welcomed her like... Mother. Mother? No. It cannot be. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast. A man of questionable loyalty. But he knows of the forbidden. He might be useful to us. Bring him to the cathedral in Kiovashad. And you will be in the light's favor. Weapon expertise. Oh. So I guess just as you're using the weapons that you have equipped, you passively unlock stuff. That's cool. Yeah. See, that's what I really dig about Blizzard games, is there's systems within systems that feed into other systems that... I mean, you're always making progress on something. Which is why Blizzard games, in my opinion, are super, like, addictive. Because you're never really wasting time, you're always accomplishing something. Which is really cool. Um, and... Evil. You know what? Let's continue our whirlwind barbarian. I know it's basic. But it's very, very cool. So that one on. That one on. So So then if I go to a, uh, well, so then if I go to a shop, I can just probably hit one button, right? Sell junk. Handy, handy. Will the hermit let me, uh, sell stuff? Wait. Hey, yeah, look how, like, weighty this run is. Look at that. Oh, there's a Lilith. Oh! All right, I dig it. Realm power collected. It's over. Wide range of content. We gotta see it. What does that mean? Like a mini dungeon?
See, even if the characters go away, I'd like it if the titles carried over. I think that'd be cool. Oh, out of fury. Oh man. Okay. All right. So I'll just calm down. Well, that was a mini dungeon. Super mini. I don't have enough fury. I just realized that that marker was just telling me of this. Or is this going to be like... Oh, okay. No, never mind. It's like, is this going to be a trick where I have to go like all the way around something? Gotta get to the spot, but no. We good. Yeah, literally my guy just now looks like Kratos. Like, there's no even... Oh, uh, spiders. Here we go. I need more fury. Oh, that dude is not having a good day. Oh, brutal. just so like heavy like weighted stuff absolutely absolutely
see what's nice about this is there's so much kind of empty space. And I know that sounds like a weird thing to say, but I appreciate because it, it's it, it's kind of going through that uh, the desolate sort of wasteland type thing. It's not everything has to be bright lights everywhere and big explosions all the time and all that. Like there's like really quiet, kind of calm areas too. Oh, I thought that said hot pants. <laughs> Wear me some hot pants before I meet the hermit. Ooh la la. Is anyone here? What are you hiding back here? Short fangs, young, freshly turned, an easy kill, further south than the others. They're spreading. to trespass into my home. Rifle through my fingers. Then at least have the decency to join me for supper. I'm bloody hungry. God, fighting this game story. unbelievable. I wish it wasn't true. But it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon? Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I... corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiobashad. If we can't stop Lilith, We'll all be damned. All right. Oh, so now we got a travel buddy. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
the system from. So, yep, he's raising the, uh, raising the little one. That's what whirlwind is for right there. Spin to win. So, I mean, we could have gone the other way, but it's cool that we can just climb up the side of that hill. I'm low on fuel. See, it's that little thing, but the subtle, like, backup that they do whenever they sense that, like, you are targeting them. And then they freak out for a second is awesome. <laughs> the angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light babbling about their holy father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud unless we can stop it. Let's not linger. Kiovashad lies just ahead. So even at, like, low levels, the gear looked pretty sick. Like, that's a cool-looking character. Because normally, you know, in MMOs or action RPGs, kind of like this, the the lower levels, you just kind of look like a clown, like a hobo clown, where you have, like, bright green pants and bright purple shirt with a red hat, and you just look, <laughs> you look absurd. But I think it's I think that adds to that grounded feeling. It's like, oh, you, you do look like a Billy Badass already. That can like handle yourself. The city, you must we have first. no time for this. <sighs> to enter Kiovashad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. Meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you! Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine, but this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Take a piece of holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the light burn away your sin. Pride.
That was easy, huh? Good. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyovasha. Right, passage done. Cool. All right, so we got waypoints. Okay. Find somewhere else to get warm. I was here first. So far. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I guess that is a little bit like the bounties, to where if you complete a certain amount of tasks in certain regions and all the kind of bonus type stuff. Mark all of these junk. Or wait in and wonder. Okay, so we can salvage. Yeah, I'd rather salvage my stuff, sell it. Diablo three has taught me that. That's. Stuff's already better. Farewell and good fortune. Hubris or pride, perhaps. Well, I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. I promise when I get the full game and I'm not on a crazy time crunch, I will read all these practically <laughs> At least for my first character. I always like to read the lore for the first character, and then after that, once I kind of got a good grasp on it, I, you know, power level or whatever you want to call it. Ah, so the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. Wait. The old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. Pay for your weapon. Give me my money. He also gave me this amulet. 
What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages, sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim, Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the Cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me? I'm going to the Dry Steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just... be careful. Your ties to Lilith, the visions you see. You are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes, our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm, fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together by what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the daughter of hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. Level stick. So I think one of the big unlocks is like a cool like wolf puppy that you can wear on your back, but you have to hit level 20. Don't think I'm gonna hit level 20 during the early access. I might hit it during open beta. Okay. Purchase armor weapon character cosmetic or Oh, okay. So yeah, we we I've already pre-purchased. I just got the standard edition. I don't need the kind of bonusy stuff. And usually, you can buy that later. Um, like you can upgrade your base account to a digital deluxe or whatever. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, go grab some of these little side quests. These are usually my favorite things in games like this. But uh, we'll just collect some and then yes, well, Bozan has we'll call it because we're over an hour already. I like to try to keep these episodes, even on the high end, about an hour and a half. The cathedral must receive. It's a long time, you know. To, to ask for your <laughs> your uh, awareness and attention. You know. But hopefully, like, you have these episodes on in the background or something. Just kind of chill. Hang. That's my goal for the West versus Backlog stuff. So, get this stuff right here. Kill lock. You see those fools up at the cathedral? <laughs> okay. so here we got automatic. It takes me a minute to kind of get my bearings on this. Day and night they stream into town. Polite folk. And they always pay their tabs. Not like some of the locals around here. <laughs> Kitty cat. Okay, so here's... Okay, so I 
books. Items. Okay. That's cool. Ensemble. Ooh, so you can just make your full on fashion ensemble. Dig it. Okay. The jewelry mark. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. It's all shiny. Whoa. It's cool that you can just like awesome. and just kind of manipulate it whenever you don't have to like purchase it. And whoop. It's been safe. Cool. Right. And then probably stash, yep. Back there. Hey there. Hello. Is it common for devout folk to drink so enthusiastically? <laughs> I guess I can't blame them. The one thing about it, I have that unlock. Gotta do some more whirlwind. I like it. You know. Still like the whirlwind. I'm a I'm a simple man. I can't do that here. Came apart nicely. And I like the fact that even if you never put on an item, the fact that you had it and you salvaged it gives you the transmog. Anyway, that's like a good quality of life improvement. Because sometimes, um, I'm trying to think if it happened with like Blizzard games. I know with World of Warcraft and kind of the early days of the transmog stuff, if you had an item, and didn't equip it and you sold it or got rid of it, it still wouldn't have unlocked the transmog, which I always thought was a little weird. I don't know if they fixed that. Um, Come back if you need work. But like, you have it in your inventory. Like, you got it. You know what I mean? So the fact that it auto-adds it to the library is really cool. What's down here? What kind of shop is this guy running? Purveyor of Curiosities. Oh. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm thinking about it. this passive idea. I really like this. Um, like, a lot. I love setting up passives and kind of tracking progress and things like that. It's the OCD. <laughs> I just like the numbers going up, you know. But yeah, oh, let me get this one. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise. But I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and mm. I get to go on He's gotta the hard ass. Save his Everything. safe face. Yeah. I'll handle it. Let's go cheer these these fine folks on and then uh E. Oh, funny. So the emote. Um, hello. Mm. Oh, sorry. Cheer. Impressive.
<laughs> Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. To some random barbarian comes in. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'd feel pretty badass if I was like working on a painting and then just some huge ass barbarian comes in and he's like, all right. And then he just left. I'd be like, all right. Thanks, man. For a hundred generations, hell itself. Okay, so let me go by the waypoint just to, uh, just to put my mind at ease, as it were. But this has been the early access for Diablo 4. Super excited that this came out. Like I said, the timing kind of worked out perfect. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get to level 20, but I don't think I have enough time. I'm leaving uh, Sunday midday, and I'll be gone for three or four days, so. Probably not this time, but hey, early access, who knows. Um, we're probably not going to do another episode on this until the game goes live in June. But uh, that's also due date for my baby girl, so... <laughs> There might not be a lot of episodes, anything, for June or July, but we'll see. Um, we'll kind of see how things are going, and yeah, man, this, the Diablo 4 is feeling good. It's looking really good. I'm liking it. Um, I mean, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm probably loving it, but I feel like I'm still very much scratching the surface on it. Like, I haven't looked at all the stats. I haven't done the deep dive on it. This is the type of game that makes me miss, like, you guys remember those Brady games, like, um, strategy guides? I would be all about buying a Diablo 4 strategy guide. I don't know what it is, but this is that type of game to where it's like, oh, well, let me read all the passives, and, you know, and this stuff changes all the time with patches and stuff, so, like, the strategy guides, they're outdated by the time they're printed, but it's still cool, right? Like, having just a list and having these like tables of information and you can kind of go through and kind of build out stuff it's definitely a throwback and really i mean you can play it like i do and just if you see something green you know if the stats are green it means it's better so equip it um it's very simplified to do it that way but i bet late game um i bet it gets pretty crunchy i bet those numbers start really mix and matching and you know min maxing and all that stuff um so yeah man this is diablo through and through this is diablo so uh i'm very excited very happy that it's turned out so good it seems to have a real positive reception online so far um i actually haven't seen a whole lot of bad bad vibes on it so yeah i love the fact that you can create your character of course but then also that it is a prominent feature in the cutscenes. I think that is a great way to bring more agency to the player. And it's just cool to see your character that you make in lore. I mean, it just is. I'm a nerd, so I'm way into that. But yeah, this is Diablo 4 Early Access and a lot of fun. I might play a little bit more, but I got to get this episode up. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Did you get to play it? Did you get to play Early Access or are you waiting for maybe the open beta? Or, you know, have you pre-ordered? Like, what's your deal? Like, what's your what's your Diablo history? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, you know, and I would say that we scratched one off the backlog, but this game ain't even out yet, so <laughs> I don't even think it counts as being on the backlog because it's not a real thing yet. But I just thought this would be something special. Huge Diablo fan. Like I said, Igor Sid and Braum and Bayard Wu and, you know, all these incredible artists work on this series. And... You know, it, it, it's near and dear to my heart. I have, you know, memories going all the way back to Diablo 1. Even playing it on the original PlayStation. Which I don't recommend it that way, but hey, if that's what you gotta do. Actually, you can buy it on good old games. The original Diablo. And then Diablo 2 and stuff. is. You know, the Resurrected Edition came out. Diablo 3 is still great. Diablo 4 looks fantastic. Great series. All the way around. But that's my time. I'm Wes. And we will catch you next time on Wes vs. Backlog.